And welcome back, everyone, for week five of the 2019 NFL season. A very strange season, for sure. Of course, scrub quarterbacks are winning football games. Rookie quarterbacks are winning football games. Visiting teams are winning football games. The uh, the visitors so far are 35-27-1. and one. Very strange so far. Uh, we went 0-4 last week because of that. Uh, we'll do better. We'll start you off with Billy B and his college picks. All right, what's up, everybody? Billy B back with you for week number five. College last week, I went two and three. Four and a week's coming, and I feel it's coming this week, so let's get into the picks. Ohio State, minus 20. Georgia, minus 25. SMU, minus 13. And Boston College, plus six and a half. So there's the college picks. On to Geo for the NFL picks. The first game we're going to look at has the Atlanta Falcons going to Houston, where the Texans are five-point favorites at home. Both these teams kind of stunk last week at home. Both of them lost. Atlanta uh, usually plays much better on at home than they do on the road, which they're at now. I think uh, Atlanta's spiraling out of control here. They just haven't recovered from that Super Bowl loss, I think, a couple of years ago. I think the head coach, Quinn, is probably going to be the first head coach sacked this year. Uh, Houston should re rebound. I don't know what happened to them last week uh, for a, a, a hosting a team that doesn't play well on the road. Five points is very doable. So let's lay those points and let's take Houston minus five. The second game we're going to look at has the Jacksonville Jaguars going to Carolina where the Panthers are three and a half point favorites at home. Um, wow, Gardner Minshew and um, Kyle Allen, I guess. We talked about rookie quarterbacks. These guys have played really well. Um, now, in this game, both defenses uh, are, are also very good. So you got two rookie quarterbacks playing against two really good defenses. I think the line in this game would have probably been Carolina minus three had cornerback Jalen Ramsey been playing for Jacksonville. Now it's uh, three and a half, though. But you know what? Between you and me, I think the Jaguars are better off without him. He's been a bit of a distraction on the field and off the field. You get the extra hook. I think Jacksonville keeps it close, win or lose. So let's take the points, and let's take the Jacksonville Jaguars, plus three and a half. The third game we're going to look at has the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going to New Orleans, where the Saints are three-point favorites at home. Wow, what a, what a game Tampa Bay played last week. Uh, they put up a 50-burger against the Rams. Uh, I don't think that can happen again. New Orleans' defense is much, much better. And yeah, you talk about scrub quarterback, uh, Teddy Bridgewater, touchdown Teddy, one of my all-time favorite ex-Minnesota Vikings. Uh, he's done a really good job, you know, uh, uh, conservative, keeping it clean, uh, not, too, not no mistakes. The Saints are very good at home, and especially defensively this year. So I think that's a very doable number. I don't think Tampa Bay can play that well back-to-back -back on the road. So let's lay the points. Let's take the New Orleans Saints, minus three. And the fourth game we're going to look at has the Denver Broncos going to Los Angeles, where the Chargers are six-and-a-half point favorites at home. Wow, Denver has to be really discouraged after uh, blowing a, a very late one last week, uh, they, they come back to take the lead, and then boom, they, they lose. It's got to be very disheartening. Now they've lost Nick Chubb, their, their stud defensive lineman. Uh, so, you know, there's not much to play for Denver. Have they even won a game? Maybe they won one game. I, I can't even remember. I think they're one four actually. Uh, Denver might as well just start tanking right now. The Chargers are playing very well. It's under a touchdown. So, you know, let's lay the points. And let's take the Los Angeles Chargers minus six and a half. All right, and for the NFL picks this week, I went 2-2 two and two last week. Uh, not great. Uh, it's been a weird year. A lot of dogs won last week. Um, Vegas probably made a killing last week, so uh, hopefully we can take some money back from them this week. Uh, first pick is the Titans, minus three versus the Bills. The Bills might be without Josh Allen. They have a tough time scoring as it is, and without Josh Allen, their quarterback, I'm feeling this, um, they're going to have a trouble again. Um, they're, you know, I don't think this game is going to be very high scoring. I do recommend the under in this one as well, but um, I just don't think they'll be able to score a lot of points unless you know there's defensive um, touchdowns and all that stuff, but that's something you really can't predict. Uh, Titans are a really weird team. They're hard to get a handle on, but at home, 
against a um, backup quarterback, I think the Titans can win this game. So take the Titans minus three. Next pick, I like the Giants plus five and a half against the Vikings. Um, Vikings are a mess right now. Their offense, unless they can run the ball for hundreds of yards, then um, you know, Kirk Cousins can't seem to get anything going with the offensive passing game. So, and then the opposite is is the case with the Giants. Uh, they bring in Danny Dimes, and all of a sudden they're uh, got some new life. They're playing great. Um, and that Barkley might even play this week, which I don't think he is, but <clears throat> that's amazing in itself that he's even trying to play this week. Um, they do get Golden Tate back. Um, I think five and a half is too much. Um, the Vikings probably might win this game, but I think it'll be by uh, by four or less. So take the Giants plus five and a half. Next, I like the Eagles minus 13 and a half versus the Jets. Uh, Eagles are coming off extra rest, a big win against the Packers on Thursday Night Football. Um, the Jets are... They are coming off a bye week, but they're just, you know, their their um, quarterback is still out with mono. They've only scored uh, they've only scored one offensive touchdown all year. Um, they're not going to be able to uh, win many games or win any games really with with that as the case. The Eagles uh, can put up the points, so with the Jets without being able to score are going to have a tough time keeping up. So I like the Eagles minus thirteen and a half. Last pick, I like the Steelers plus three and a half versus the Ravens. You got a division home dog here. Um, I'd like to take them. They uh, haven't been as profitable as they've been, so I think they're due for for a profit here. Uh, Steelers have uh, found out a new offense here. They've done they were doing the Wildcat, being able to run the ball with Connor and uh, Samuels. The Ravens got gashed by uh, Nick Chubb last week, um, <clears throat> so I feel like the Steelers can continue to run the ball here. Um, these two teams always, no matter how good or bad they are, always seem to uh, come down to a field goal game. So I love getting that hook in the three and a half. So take the Steelers plus three and a half. So there you have it for my picks. Good luck. Okay, and congratulations to Rick and to T. Simmons. You each win one of these Detroit Lions beanies. Well done, guys. Good for you. This week we're going to have, um, how, about, how about the Seattle Seahawks? We're going to have the Seattle Seahawks beanie uh, in, our, in our contest this week. All you have to do is, in the comments below, put hashtag, let's take the man's money. L-T-T-M-M. Good luck. Okay, for the Let's Take the Man's Money parlay play, we're going to take Houston, minus five, Jacksonville, plus three and a half, the New Orleans Saints, minus three, Los Angeles Chargers, minus six and a half. We're going to take Chicago on the money line. They're playing in London against Oakland. And we're going to take San Francisco on the money line. They're playing on Monday night um, after having last week off. We'll take them on the money line. They're playing, uh, I think, Cleveland. A $25 bet will get us $672.85. And for the teaser play, we'll tease Houston to plus one, Chicago to plus half a point, Jacksonville to plus nine and a half, New Orleans plus three, Los Angeles Chargers minus half a point, and Green Bay, we'll throw in Green Bay, I don't think they'll lose by nine and a half. So a $25 bet will get us $175. Good luck. Okay, those are our picks for this week. Good luck to you. Don't forget to like this video, give us a thumbs up, and uh, leave a comment in the section below, especially the hashtag, let's take the man's money for a chance to win our contest for this year. All right.
for my good friend Billy B. I am Geo. Let's take the man's money. <laughs>